Hey guys, now imagine you're just on the road and you receive a phone call from your friend, maybe your customer, maybe even grandma, who now needs some help with their Fire Stick or Android TV. Let's say for example, they want you to help them uninstall an application, what do you do? Well, we can see here, I've just opened up my laptop inside my car. I've made a connection to a hotspot on my phone. If I now open up this application here, Hope you guys can see that. And I can now see all of the devices I can manage remotely. Over here, we've got my third generation Fire TV Cube. That's my Nvidia Shield. There's the On 4K Pro. And this is another Amazon Fire TV device. We can see here all of these devices are online. Here we can see the local IP address of these devices. And this over here is the internet IP of these devices. So let's say for example, I want to connect to my Nvidia Shield from the internet and maybe to uninstall an application. Well, I can now click on the device here. As you can see, let's click on that now. That's the device there, Nvidia Shield. I can now click on Initiate Connection. If I was inside my home network, I would then click on Initiate Connection LAN, which is on the internal network. But as I'm doing this from the internet, as I'm out and about, I'm gonna click on Initiate Connection. Let's click on that now. Let's give that a second. I can now see the screen of my NVIDIA Shield Pro. And not only can I see the screen, let's make that a bit bigger. I can now actually control the device from the internet. So in this example, let's say um, the customer or my grandma or my friend needed me to uninstall one of these applications. Let's say I want to uninstall Dingo. Well, I can now long press the spacebar. That's like pressing the context key. And I can now click on uninstall. Press enter on that. Do you want to uninstall that? Press enter again. Give that a second. And there we have it guys. I've now from the internet made a connection to my Nvidia Shield with complete control. I've now uninstalled an application. And we can see guys just using the arrow keys. I can press escape to go back. Back again. I now have complete control of this device. And it's not just this Android TV device. I can close this down. Let's say for example, I want to see what's on my Fire TV Cube. Again, let's click on the word Initiate Connection. Give that a second. And can we now also fully control this Amazon Fire TV device directly from the internet? And that's worked first time. So again, we see the screen. I can make that a bit big, but the real deal is guys, not only can you see the screen, I can now with the arrow keys, fully control my Amazon Fire TV Cube directly from the internet. I mean, this is something that lots of you have been asking for for a very long time. The ability to remote control these devices from the internet. Maybe, you know, if you want to support your customers, maybe some of you are looking after elderly parents or your grandparents or really just anybody that needs help you can now fully control the device without them even being there. So I know with some of the previous methods that I've demonstrated, it did require them to do something on their end, maybe accept a connection prompt, maybe do something else. But as you've seen guys, nobody's in my house and I'm now fully remote controlling these devices. Now in this example, let's say I want to uninstall something as well. Uh, let's just uninstall um, this thing over here. All right, so how do I uninstall this? Well, I can always go back to, I can go back to the settings cog Go to applications. I mean, this is just a random example. Of course, you've got complete control. You really can do anything you like, including installing applications, modifying settings, moving things around. Uh, let's just say we want to uninstall this, this application here. I can press enter on that. Select the option, uninstall. Do you want to uninstall this? Yes. And there you have it, guys. So again, complete control of this Amazon Fire TV Cube from the internet allowing me to fully manage my device pretty much wherever I am. So, so this is really just a preview video, guys. I just want to quickly share with you this video that I'm working on or this process on how you can fully manage your Android TV and Fire TV devices from the internet, not only just see the screen, but have full control of those devices. So if you guys do want to see the full video, please do leave me a comment below. Make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.